Okay, 1.3 special products of uh, binomials. Um, the objective students will be able to f find the special products of binomials for the purpose of factoring quickly. Okay, so this thing is all about patterns. Um, often in mathematics, there's an observable pattern, meaning something we could see that just happens over and over and over again. And so instead of doing the math, we can just know the pattern, and it's a, it makes things a lot easier. Um, so with some products of polynomials, there's an observable pattern. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and square these binomials and see if we could figure out what the pattern is. So what's going on here? This is a perfect square, right? These are all perfect squares, meaning this is a plus b squared, x, plus, x minus y squared, t plus 3 squared. So here's the box method. I put a plus b on top and a plus b on the side. And let's just see what happens. Okay, so first we'd get a squared. And then we would get a times b, which is a b. And then again, we get AB, and then we get B squared. So when we add this all up, we have an A squared. We have two ABs. And then we have B squared. Hmm. Okay. So we can kind of see what's happening here. I want you to try and do this one. Um, as I do it with you guys, same idea, move my box, x minus y times x minus y. What would this one be? Well, let's see. x squared, negative xy, again a negative xy, and then negative y times negative y actually makes positive y squared. So, what do we get? We get x squared, um, two negative xy, so that means we can write that as uh, negative 2xy, and then plus y squared. Okay, let's look at these two and see what we ended up with. So we started with an a plus a b, and we ended up with a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Started with an x minus a y, and we ended up with x minus 2xy plus y squared. So I'm starting to see a pattern, hopefully you are. Let's do one more. Okay, this one's going to be t plus 3 times t plus 3. I'm just going to do the box right underneath it here. So, t squared, 3t, 3t, and then 3 squared, which is 9. So that means that we get t squared plus, we have two 3t's, so that's 6t plus 9. Okay, that one looks a little bit different, but I think that's because we had numbers in it, and these ones we only had variables. So here's the idea. Here's a pattern broken down for you. I got these little boxes so that you could kind of see what's happening, but every time, we're just going to take the first term, square it, then we're going to take the two terms, multiply them together, multiply it by 2, see, xy multiplied by 2, but this was a negative y, so it became negative 2xy, uh, 3 times t is uh, 3t times 2 is 6t. And then the last term is just going to be the last term squared. Real simple. So we can see that pattern here. Let's use the pattern now to answer, uh, to expand this binomial x minus 5 squared. So I'm just going to say that's the same thing as x plus negative 5. So let's just put all the x's in real quick. That would have an x here and an x here. And I would have a negative 5 here and a negative 5 here. And now we can just quickly simplify. It's going to be x squared. What's 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, so I'm just going to write negative 10x. And negative 5 squared is going to actually be positive 25. And we can see it follows the pattern, right? Here's my first term squared. Right in here I have my two terms multiplied together, then times by 2. And then here I have the last term squared. Sweet. We could do that for y plus 4 here. So go ahead, try and use the same pattern. If you want to draw the shapes out, you can. You don't have to, but the idea is just that you can see the pattern to quickly do y plus 4 squared. I'd pause the video and check back and see if you did it correctly. OK, um, yeah, I just square the y. I do y times 4 times 2, and I do 4 squared. So y squared plus 2 times 4 is 8y, and 4 squared is 16. Got my answer done. So, makes life pretty easy if we just follow that pattern. There's another pattern with what we call the difference of squares. 
you can see here this is a plus b times a minus b, x plus 2 times x minus 2, y plus 3 times y minus 3. This pattern um, is kind of even easier pattern. Uh, so let's take a look at it. If I was to make this into a box, make a plus b here, and multiply, I would get a squared, negative ab, positive ab, and negative b squared. So what would that be? Well, notice that ab and negative ab should cancel each other out so that it's zero. So we end up with just a squared minus b squared. So when we have a difference of squares, and this is actually, these are called conjugates of each other, but the main thing I want you to see is difference of squares, a plus a minus, we would get um, a squared minus whatever the second term is, b squared. So let's see it here, see if we could do the same thing, see if we get the same results. So we get x squared minus 2x, then this would be a plus 2x, my plus sign is weird, and then negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. So 2x and negative 2x cancel each other out, and we're left with just x squared minus 4. Again, all we had to do is take the first term, square it, minus the second term, square it, and we're done. So pretty easy. I think we should test it one more time, but I think you guys are going to see the pattern here. If you think you know what the answer is, maybe go ahead and write it down underneath. But I think we're going to put y3 here. We go y squared, negative 3y, positive 3y, and then minus 9. Well, look. These guys cancel each other out. So we get y squared minus 9. And that's simply the first term squared minus the second term squared. So very good. So now we can kind of see the pattern there. Let's go to the next page. We can see all they're asking us to do is to use this pattern. So when we have uh, something plus something and then the same thing minus minus that second thing we just do the first thing squared minus the second thing squared really easy so if this was an x plus five and an x minus five all we have to do is do x squared minus five squared oops I don't know why I have that five there sorry x squared minus five squared so we'd get x squared minus twenty five all there is to it so I want you guys to go ahead and see if you could use this pattern to simply answer practice number four really quick Shouldn't take you very long. I'd pause the video and then check and see if your answer is correct. Okay, hopefully you just saw. You just do a squared minus 1 squared is just 1. So that one should be your answer. Boom. Okay, now what if it's, um, what if there's a lot of things going on, like this 2a3 and this negative 3b squared? Okay, this is still a, this isn't a difference of squares now. Now we're going back to the perfect square, right, because the square is out here. Well, we can use the exact same pattern. And this is where the pattern is really nice, because I can just put the, the little 2a cubed in here, and the th negative 3b in here. And then I can just put, put all my terms where they go, right, because I'm going to square the first term, then I'm going to multiply the two terms together, and times it by 2, and then I'm going to take the last term and I'm going to square it. And then we could just quickly simplify. 2 squared is 4, so I would write 4. And a cubed to the second power, whenever you have a power to a power, you're actually going to multiply those powers. So um, let me explain why real, why real quick. Let's go over here and let's do what does a cubed to the second power really mean? Well, doesn't it really mean that? a times a times a squared and doesn't that really mean a times a times a times a times a times a so how many a's do I have total? Well I have six so the shortcut here is I could just take my exponents and multiply them. Now don't get that confused with when you have something like b squared times b cubed in that situation you add the exponents right so you would do 2 plus 3 to get so that's a different scenario. When there, when it's an exponent to an exponent, you multiply. When you have the same base, you add the exponents. Okay, so let's go back to this problem. So I just put all the parts where they go according to the pattern we observed earlier, and I have 4 squared, and then I'm going to also say that a cubed is squared, so that makes a 6. 
Here I'm going to do 2 times 2 times negative 3. Well, negative 3 times, times 2 is negative 6, then times 2 is going to make negative 12. And then I simply write a cubed b. And then the last thing is going to be negative 3 squared and b squared. Well, negative 3 squared is just 9, so I'm going to say plus 9 and then b squared. And now I've quickly done that difference of squares. I'm just going to check make sure I did everything right according to my notes. Yeah, it looks good. Um, sorry, not different squares, perfect squares. Even though it's a real nasty one, it looks all confusing, the pattern just makes it real simple. We just plug everything in where it goes. If we remember the pattern, we could do the problem. So here's another one that's kind of nasty. I want you guys to work on this one. Um, I, you could redraw these shapes if you want, but all I really want you to do is just put them in the right order, in the right pattern, put all the stuff there, and simplify it. Uh, you may want to pause the video to see if you did it correctly. Okay, so the first term is 3x squared, so I'm going to square that. Then I'm going to multiply the two terms together and times it by 2. And then I'm going to take the last term and square it. When I do that, I get 9x to the fourth minus 24x squared y plus 16y squared. Done. Let's do the same thing with a couple of difference of squares problems. Again, they look nasty, but if it's we have something plus something, and then the same first thing minus the same second thing. So we can use the difference of squares pattern. So let's just fill it in. This would be where the 2a is, this is the 5y cubed, this is the 2a, this is also the 5y cubed, therefore this is just going to be the 2a, and this is going to be the 5y cubed. So 2a squared is 4a squared, minus 5 squared is 25, and y cubed squared is y to the 6, because again, I'm going to multiply those exponents. Okay, so I have one more problem here for you guys to try. Go ahead and give it a shot, and then um, check back and see if your answer is correct. All right, so all we got to do is take the first term, square it, and the second term, square it. So 3x squared squared is 9x fourth minus 2b is going to be 2 squared is 4, and b squared is b squared. So there we go. There I have our answer. All right, guys, uh, no summary on this one. I'll see you guys on the next video.